but most people think that if you say the word self-care, you're saying, I'm the one who needs to make a change. And it's really not that at all. I would really like for folks to recognize what is creating their, their fatigue and what kind of fatigue do they have. If it's compassion fatigue, you, you treat it one way. And if it's, say, burnout, you treat it a different way. Your staff at the conclusion of that should be able to recognize what is really going on with me and, and what might I choose to do or ask others to do uh, on my behalf. My role has been to help staff figure out what they need uh, to be the best that they can be for themselves and for the institution. PTSD, would, I, I'd say post-traumatic stress, I do think that people are experiencing symptomology that looks like post-traumatic stress. I know how diligent nurses stand by that bedside and the extra things they do uh, that make the difference in, in someone's healing or in someone's last, last day. You know, they make a difference whether the patient is recovering or if the patient's dying. That's a huge burden that we have asked healthcare to take on. The question it begs is what makes it possible for you to do this job day in and day out? And if they say appreciation, you know, they're probably going to hit, oh, compassion fatigue. And if they say just having a crash cart that is properly put together, you think there is something wrong with me and I can't tell you exactly what it is, but you know, I'm dizzy. I don't have much of an appetite. You know, you have those, that sense of my heart is broken and yeah. I'm not sure that I can continue this, but you can't, what I can tell you is that you can.